What's good, y'all? Carter Huber doing another, another rescue. We got something a little bit different for you. We have got a video called "Totally Obsessed Pac Man." Fred Willard. Now I know who Fred Willard is. I think he's a he's a host of I guess a show. I think he died a few years back. Rest in peace. Or rest in peace. I said rest in peace. No, R rest in peace. Uh, Fred Willard. But I don't. I have no idea who this obsessed, totally obsessed Pac Man guy is going to be. I think this is like. From what I heard, this is like a TLC related video, like a My Train Addiction related video, but it's not. It's like a totally different thing on a different channel. But I don't know what to expect, so let's just see how this, or on, on a different show, I guess. So I don't know what to expect, let's see how this is. Uh, volume check's pretty good. Let's, let's, let's just react to it in three, two, one, play. I'm gonna turn the screen a little bit too. That's better. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Meet Tim Crist, a man Tim obsessed Christ. with Pac-Man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems like this. After all this time, he's still there. He's still yellow. He's still perfectly round. He's still eating things. Yeah, I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Behold, but, I am Pac-Man. No, you're not. You're not the real Pac-Man, Pac though. It just gives me this feeling of giddiness. Like, there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. And just this wonderful thing. Like, hey, okay. look, Pac-Man. We don't need to For know that. For the past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. If you've never played Pac-Man before, I have something like this. Yes, I know how to play it. You're making it a lot more weirder. It's a game, and you're making it weird. Yes, yes. That was a horrible de depiction of it. Done. Yes. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Uh, he has his what? Such no. A connection with Tim, his Tim. This guy has a freaking wife. How? How does this guy have a wife? That that's what I'm automatically wondering. How? How can a guy like that get married? Also, second, yeah, that was a that was a weird ass depiction of the, of Pac-Man. That's that was he just made it a lot weirder than it is. And it's not really it's not a weird game, but he just made it weird. <laughs> Alright. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Man. I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I... So he has to find it? That he ...and there he'll be, you know, his golden yellow light just... Oh, oh when he's nearby. <laughs> Hi, Pac-Man! Yeah, imagine he'll seeing a guy... ...and be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom, he'll be reaching for tokens. <laughs> quarter, 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 That was a good quarter. roast. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the great yellow one? Certainly, certainly. The great yellow one. Keep the great yellow one from going through my wall again, right? Sorry about that. They put it through the wall one time? I feel bad for the machine. Yeah, I would too. Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. Yeah, you might want to have to get a new one if he has body spread all over it. <laughs> Tim has spent ten thousand dollars in quarters alone, playing every day on his lunch break. Are you serious? He's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. He's possessed. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Where does he work? In Who would hire him? Playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. <laughs> wow. To think if he was so obsessed, he would. Oh, really? When the Holy Over a game. Life meets his demise. Over an arcade game. He does. It always brings me a feeling that. Maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. Oh, yeah. Man, sure. no. Of course. Clyde tried to bite Pac-Man. Clyde bite Pac-Man. Why Clyde bite Pac-Man? His wife is like, really? Pac-Man was made for 20 different game systems, and Tim has every one. Uh, yeah, I bet. Not surprised. Every room in his home. Not surprised it's by that. It's very frustrating trying to play Pac-Man with Tim. You have to avoid them? Yeah. The trick is to not run into them when they try to eat. You see, game over. Now you don't get to play anymore, and it's all me. You get to watch me play. It's she just be a tired total of him. exercise in futility for me because I'll be waiting 15 minutes for my turn. Okay, just like, ah, eat you now! Ah. How's that? I'm gonna cry. Oh, why? No, don't cry! <laughs> oh, Holy shit. In 2001, just... Tim put his passion for Pac-Man to music in a song called Pac-Man is Naked and So Should You. Are you ready for that life? What? <laughs> it's about to go! This is getting weirder! What's wrong with you? Tim. Tim. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. His friend speaking facts. Yeah, what, what, what? Yeah, his poor friend. What, yeah, what is wrong with him exactly? Also, 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 second, that title, Pac-Man is naked, and so should you. Not only is it disgusting, but it also makes no sense. Like, shouldn't it be, Pac-Man gets naked, and so should you, or Pac-Man is naked, and so are you? Which, but still, Pac-Man is naked, and so should you. He should have put more thought into that title. What's wrong with you? That last week you yeah, Pac-Man is the game. Friend. You move the joystick and he eat the dot. 
There should be counselors involved. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I'll watch my ears out because that's one of the years. Just gotta bring the message to the people. Occasionally, I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life, and I feel like doesn't want to either. Convey to him somehow that he really should. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! <laughs> Really? Now we're about Let's onto this. Public forget about Pac-Man. Tim goes out every imagine, week. Imagine doing that. That face. Until the world shares his enthusiasm for Pac-Man. Imagine right. seeing the guy so in the car doing that. The glory of the golden one who is round and eats things. No, this is just. <laughs> it is written that you should play Pac-Man. <laughs> I will not play. Yeah, I will not play it if you tell me to. And that lady was like. When we were driving down the road, people were standing there like Pac-Man. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, they don't want to say Pac-Man. People are going to look play. back on their lives. They're going to be lying on their deathbed, thinking, "My God, I have squandered my life." Think of all the times I played things that weren't Pac-Man. Say Pac-Man. Well, there are a lot. Of... Say Pac-Man. No. And now it's too late. Pac-Man. There are a lot of other games to play. That's adorable. <laughs> In a very disturbing way. It's no. <laughs> yeah, we know how it sounds. Something. I'm Fred Willard, and that's it for Totally Obsessed. Totally Obsessed. Okay, yeah, that's a show. <sighs> yeah, there are plenty of other... And also, it's disturbing, but not in an, ador in an adorable way at all. Also, the we got plenty of other games to play. We got fucking Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, just... If I, if I want to play Pac-Man, I'll do it in my free time. Anyways, I don't know, that was basically it, of course. But yeah, that was crazier than I thought, you know. Um, yeah. I mean, um, th I mean th this this guy. Yeah, you can definitely tell. He's, I, also, I, I'm curious. How does he have a freaking wife if he plays Pac Man 24 seven? I mean, and he was and he was be he was being kind of he was being a he was being kind of rude, you know, when trying to introduce her to play. You know, I bet they've never made love or or, or, or have had sex. I bet I bet the only time the only time he's like touched her in a way was when like he was playing Pac Man the controller. He was playing and he he lost and he got. And the controller fell out of his, he threw the controller out of his hands by accident. He had to reach over and touch your leg briefly to, in order to get the controller back. Probably, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was. Also, um, what was that thing? Oh yeah. Um, second, I bet if this guy is so obsessed with, with Pac-Man, and you know, imagine how he probably felt if he saw the, the movie Pixels back in 2014 when it came out, because I, I I saw it. It was it, it wasn't really that good of a movie, but I mean that this I remember that scene where Pac-Man, you know, um. Or basically, you know, Pac-Man exploded and died in that one scene. I, I wonder how he felt. He probably, he probably, you know, screaming, screaming, and cried and ran out of the theater. But yeah, that that was, wow, that was um, insane to say nonetheless. And I bet I wouldn't be surprised if he's, you know, probably done crazier things and shown in this video. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. That was a trip for me to watch for sure. That's for sure. That was a big old, big old trip. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Boop.